my channel. Uh, today in this video I am going to talk about Georgian language. Uh, so I've decided to create some videos about Georgian because uh, for all for tourists and uh, for all those who would like to learn it uh, because I have read some co uh, some comments uh, that uh, some of them want to learn but there are not many videos about Georgian language. Uh, so, uh, I don't know how uh, good the result will be, but I'll try anyway. Uh, so, subscribe my channel and let's start. First of all, uh, this video will be the introduction to Georgian language. Uh, so, I'll talk about it in general and uh, about its uh, peculiarities. Uh, so, the first thing you should know about Georgian language is that it is included in 14 oldest languages of the world. And it's a bit difficult uh, for foreigners to learn because of its uh, verb system and uh, especially because um, uh, it is uh, unique and uh, differs from all other languages. Uh, Georgian language is um, spoken by only the people from Georgia, just 4 million people. What's more, uh, Georgian language has its own three types of scripts and they are Asantavruli, Nuskuri and Mkhedruli. But nowadays, just one of them, Hedruli, is used. In addition to this, uh, there are specific languages from the regions of Georgia inside. Uh, for example, um, two regions, Svaneti and uh, Samegrelo, speak their own languages too. How surprising it is! More than one language in this small country. Now let's move to the alphabet of Georgian language. And as for the alphabet, uh, there are 33 letters uh, in Georgian, which includes uh, uh, 5 vowels and uh, 28 consonants. One of the peculiarities that makes the Georgian language interesting and uh, different from other languages uh, is that uh, first, um, uh, in Georgian, we read the same uh, what we write and write the same what we read. Uh, I hope you will understand it. Uh, for example, uh, in English, uh, what we read is completely different from what we write, true? Uh, so yes, so in Georgian, we don't have this problem. Number two, uh, in Georgian language, we don't have any articles, so no articles. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's move to number three, uh, which is uh, no gender in third person. So, in English, we know that there are three types of um, uh, pronouns to express gender. Uh, for example, he for masculine, she for feminine, and uh, it for neuter gender. So, uh, yeah, in Georgian, we don't have this kind of different pronouns. Uh, we just say that to express it, to express, and uh, it's for all gender. Number four, we don't have big and small letters in Georgian language either. Uh, so every letter has the same size and uh, during the writing you don't have to uh, think about whether to write big or small letters. Number five, we don't have uh, double letters in the word unless we add the prefix or suffix to it in the beginning or in the end of the word. Uh, I mean, uh, we don't have uh, double letters in the middle of the word, but uh, if we add the prefix or suffix to it, uh, then it can be doubled. And the last one, uh, we don't have uh, stresses on syllables. Yeah, no stress on syllables. We just say the word and we don't write stresses on the words. And no vowel length as well. Um, yeah, we, in, in English, for example, we have uh, short and long vowels. Uh, for example, uh, for short vowels like sit, bed, and long vowels, sit, bed, uh, and this kind of uh, vowels, so yes, yeah, so we don't have it in Georgian, and and no diphthongs either, which means two vowel sounds. Yes, so we don't have a two vowel sounds like in the word now, for example, in English. In Georgian, every letter has a sound, and we read each letter. Now about other features of Georgian language. Uh, there are seven noun cases, uh, 
yes and uh, the difficulty is just the uh, verbal system uh, yeah and the verb system is a bit difficult because uh, the verbal has many prefixes and suffixes when it is formed depending on which uh, persons or tenses we use for example let's discuss the verb chama to eat the verb chama to eat can have different forms according to which person or number you want to use and here is one specific feature of Georgian language again which is that when you conjugate or form a verb you can omit or remove the pronouns because you already know the number and person from the verb so we can just use the verb without adding the pronoun let's see some examples I eat in Georgian will be mevcham me is the pronoun I and jam is the verb eat. So I eat is mev jam. But as we already said in Georgian, we can remove the pronoun me and just say jam. I eat jam. You eat is shen jam or jam. He, she, it, eats. Is jams, jams. We eat, chwen jamt, jamt. You eat, chwen jamt, jamt. They eat, isini jamen, jamen. Let's say these forms again. Mev jam, jam, shed jam, jam, is jams, jams, twen jamt, jamt, twen jamt, jamt, isini jamen, jamen. Okay, now let's have a look on the Georgian alphabet and some words as well. Georgian alphabet. A. Adami, Adami, B, Burti, Burti, G, Gogo, Gogo, D, Deda, Deda, E, Ena, Ena, V, Vazi, Fuzzy, zo, zig, zig, t, taply, taply, e, imedi, imedi, k, kata, kata, l, lomi, lomi. M, mama, mama. N, nesvi, nesvi. O, omi, omi. P, uri, uri. J, jirapi, jirapi. R. Romi, Romi, S, Sahli, Sahli, T, Torti, Torti, U, Urchi, Urchi, P, Pipki, Pipki, K. Kari, Kari, R, Rori, Rori, R, Kveli, Kveli, Sh, Shakari, Shakari, Ch, 
chanta chanta so sa sa zu zroha zroha zu tsali tsali chu cha cha kh 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 ju jari jari hu hamaki hamaki that's how georgian language and alphabet looks like i hope you liked it uh, if you have any questions uh, write it down in the comments below and uh, i will catch up with you like the video and subscribe the channel. Uh, I'll try to keep on uh, creating the videos about Georgian language, so follow me and bye bye.